hit forward vector. And we're going to rotate vector. Get actor rotation. Okay. Why are you no longer wanting to work with me? Let's see what was there beforehand, huh? Right. Here we go. So, not that. Move this over here. See if we can work with this. What we can do. Find a look at rotation. So. Boom. Let's see what this does. So, not perfect. <laughs> it's actually kind of cool. So, um, we're actually going to pull this in. What if we just did get actor rotation? Or get actor location? Yeah, there we go. That looks a bit better ish. Because now, if let's say we had a turret defense game, right? Like the whole job was just for it to to sit in the middle, fire these. Now we can do that. Another thing we could do using this very same thing. Let's say right mouse button. single line trace by channel. We're going to plug this into the end. I'm actually going to copy paste this. That, that way we can kind of do them separately. So let's put this in the end. Let's put this in the beginning. Boom, draw debug for duration, trace visibility, break hit result. Boom, do a gate. Go with the impact points. Let's do a V, V, enter. Two. Current is boom. Get actor location. We'll actually do this. We'll do delta seconds, even though it's really not a great option. One. Set actor location. Maybe set actor relative location. Sweep. Boom. Ah, and we only want to do this if it's true. So it actually did hit something. Okay, very interesting. Let's 
So this is a current. This is the Why are you not working? What do you not like? Oh, there it goes. It's just not pulling very strong. Whoa. There we go. That's more of a blink, so let's go with a 0.95, maybe. Nope. <laughs> Very interesting. Didn't expect it to have this hostile of a response to this. I mean, uh, there's another way to do this. If condition is true, then we'll open a gate. of event move character and let's see we'll actually do set timer by function name move character let's go with 0 0.05 looping Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Ooh. Custom event. Stop care. Okay. And let's do stop timer. Timer. I guess having the timer running for for what we're doing is really not that big of a deal. Go to begin play. Just gonna plug this in here so we can test it. And this is gonna look like crap, just so you know. It's very uh, hastily put together. Stop character. Boom. Compile, save. And let's see, we want to set this to like 0 0.005. So it's pretty. Okay. That's a little bit better. You can kind of see it working a little bit. But that's enough to get the idea of what I was what I was going for across. It's it's something you'll have to play with. Um, we actually have a uh, a grappling hook in another project. I'd love to know why this isn't working. There it goes. Um, we actually have a grappling hook in another project that works. 
but it's been a while since we've really messed with any of this. Um, and honestly, I don't consider it that great of a grappling hook. This was just a, hey, look what you can do, for example, kind of thing, which there's probably way better things you can do with this. I mean, even just the shooting mechanic up here is better than this. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so you can do a lot of stuff with it is, is kind of where I was going with that. And, um, yeah, that was the main thing I wanted to show today. Um, if anyone has any questions or anything, or anything that I can answer that, um, please feel free to post in the chat. Um, I'm going to go work in our RPG template for just a little bit, and then if I don't see any questions in the next little bit, I'll probably call it a night, because I didn't really, I thought that was going to take a lot longer than it did, which is usually the case. I usually anticipate that it's going to take longer and then it's like oh yeah I remember how to do all of these things that I don't even need help <laughs> and it uh it goes really well and fast okay so if in the meantime there are no questions or anything I'm gonna go ahead and pull up our RPG template save that ladder even though we're not using it and start getting some of our main menu ready <sighs> There's some loading stuff I need to fix, too. There's quite a bit I need to fix. For those of you who haven't been here before, we have our uh, RPG template, which is the main thing we've been working on for the past few months, and is actually very, 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 very close to being done. We have our generic race class selection system here. Um, I do need to make the text bigger on these, which I'm going to go through a tutorial on how to do that, because the, the combo boxes are a little bit weird. We can randomize that, hit play. We've got a mini-map, got our health, energy, and shields, which do uh, regenerate after a time, I believe. Yes, there it goes, and the health one should be picking up soon. Um, we have these, which are selectable objects. They, they don't actually do anything anymore, um, simply because I kind of ran out of time to really do much with them if I want to actually get this thing off the ground. Um, main purpose of this is to show how to do highlightable objects, which is actually pretty easy to do. You pretty much, you at least the way I did it, and there's probably a better way to do it, frankly. This is kind of the uh, the cheap and easy, I want to show a, a concept. Um, the way I did it was you spawn the same actor, increase the size by just a little bit so that it kind of overlaps the original, and then you change the material to be a lerp of... Uh, however much you want the highlight to be uh, of the highlight material and the original material of the uh, of, or the original texture of the actor and you set that to whatever the alpha you want so if you want more of this you know more of one you put it lower you want more of the other you put higher in the alpha um, and that's kind of how I did that it was very simple um, it doesn't really do much we also have our oh, wrong button, our experience system down here, which actually does level us up. Um, we have a save and load menu. We have a character menu that needs to be fixed, but these can actually be selected and and all. That's our skill tree, and you can reset them. So if you have all these points, boom. Um, also, the main menu, which allows us to save and load game. Oh. Menu, quit to menu, which we're going to actually tie into the main menu. Cancel, and then our quit game actually quits us out. Um, but what we're working on today is the start menu. So we've got this. This is our main menu. I need to fill out the credits, which we will get to. Quit is going to be easy. Continue is going to take us to the save load game. New game is the one that's going to be weird because of the way I have this set up. Um, I need to open our RPG controller. Whoop. Now let's see. This is the part that needs to change. <laughs> 